angielski w pracy z humorem Kasia Sielicka. Lesson 14 2021 My very bad holiday idea I spent the last week of May on holiday Yay! Or maybe not so yay I went to Kielnerowa, which is a small village in Podkarpacie and I went there with my boyfriend Krzysztof, yeah, about whom you learned two lessons ago. But before we dive in uh, the spicy details, let's have a short grammar appetizer, yeah? Before we dive into, zanim zanurkujemy, spicy details, pikantne szczegóły, appetizer, przystawka. So, before we dive into the spicy details, I have a short grammar appetizer for you. Now, uh, I can say that uh, what I did last in the last week of May was go to Kilnarova. What I did was go to Kilnarova. And in this structure, this is a structure for adding emphasis, emphaza, nacisk. So I want to draw your attention to, przyciągnąć uwagę do, I want to draw your attention to what comes after. Yeah, what I did was go to Kilnarova. Yeah. Go to go on holiday is important. And you can use the structure in some other ways. Uh, for example, what I really like is chocolate. This is true about me. What I do every morning is text my boyfriend. Again, true. And what I finally did last weekend was clean my bathroom. Yeah, you guessed it. Uh, and uh, have you noticed maybe that we always use the infinitive, the bare infinitive? Go bez okolicznik in the second part, yeah? What I uh, love, uh, what I do is text, what I did was clean, not clean. Okay, so enough of grammar repetizer, what I did last week, what, uh, sorry, not last week, uh, during the last week of May uh, was go to Kielnerowa. And that was a very bad idea. Uh, Kielnerowa, is the place where my prospective mother-in-law lives. Prospective? Przyszła, potencjalna. My prospective mother-in-law lives there. And a short pronunciation aside here, uh, mother-in-law, the last segment of the word is law. So this is mother in the eyes of the law. Matka w oczach prawa. And the word law is pronounced law, not low. Low is nisko, prawo is law. So it's mother-in-law, not low. So, uh, Kielnerowa is the place where my prospective uh, mother-in-law lives uh, and, uh, and, yeah, and that wasn't the bad idea of visiting her because she's actually a cool woman. What was a bit worse than my mother-in-law uh, was the fact that we stayed at her place, Unie, at her place, and we lived in the attic. Na poddaszu, in the attic. Now, it sounds quite cool, but there was no staircase. Staircase? Schody. Klasa schodowa. Uh, klatka schodowa. There was no staircase from the ground floor to the attic. So basically, you had to use a ladder. Drabina. A ladder. So, it's basically up and down, up and down, up and down the ladder 20 times a day. Yeah, it's a real disaster. If you wanted to pee, she catch P, you had to go down the ladder, yeah? And if you wanted to go to bed, you had to go up the ladder and then you forgot your phone downstairs and you went down the ladder and then you forgot something from upstairs and you went up the ladder. So that was a really bad thing, but that wasn't the worst, yeah? That wasn't the worst thing. The worst thing was the attraction, the local attraction I visited there uh, and that was in Korczyna and that was a famous chocolate factory by Peltar. Yeah. And that was a really, really, really bad idea. Uh, Peltar is the best uh, confectioner in Poland. Confectioner? Cukiernik. Yeah, he's the best confectioner in Poland. He has all the papers, he's won all the contests, etc. And the stuff he makes is really amazing. Uh, and what I started with was trying the basic chocolates, the milk chocolate, dark chocolate, white chocolate, and quoting Janice, Oh my God. And then I tried chocolate. Uh, oh, apart from these three types, they have ruby chocolate. Ruby? Ruby Nova. So I think this is the only chocolate in the world which is mauve in the color. Mauve? Fioletowa-różowa. 
mouth. So that's ruby chocolate. And that was delicious. They had uh, chocolate with lots of stuff in it. And that's also cool. And the ice cream, it's also amazing. Yeah, uh, my flavor, smug flavor, was the champagne flavor. Uh, and it was really, really cool. And my crew also had some other ones. Crew, Zawoga. Uh, my crew also had some other ones, but uh, I didn't uh, pay attention to their ice cream because I was already looking at the pralines yeah and oh my god the pralines they were like tiny works of art malinki dziełasztuki tiny works of art and they were covered with intricate patterns intricate patterns zawiłe wzory misterne wzory they were covered with intricate patterns and uh, they had creamy fillings which were really masterpieces Dziełasztuki, yeah, masterpieces, mistrostwa. And the pralines were really, really, really cool. So in my previous class, uh, I got a grammar uh, orgasm. And in Korczyna, I got an oral orgasm. Yeah, no pun intended. So it was really, really, really delicious. But the worst thing is that some people don't learn from their mistakes. And I came back there. I came back there a few days later and they had a tiramisu with a teaspoon made of chocolate. Teaspoon, a chocolate teaspoon. Uh, and then I had, well, a cappuccino that wasn't so bad. Uh, some more ice cream, some more pralines, some more chocolate. And oh my God, yeah. And you know what the result is? The result is a few hundred uh, zlotys less on my account because the place is not so cheap. And also, five kilos more i've put on five kilos put on i've put on five kilos during my stay there and that is a total disaster so guys if you're watching your weight if you're watching your weight do not go to a chocolate factory it's a really very bad idea very 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 bad idea and if you're planning a nice holiday, just like mine holiday, I'm sure you'll need some English words for traveling. And you can find them in my super duper travel English course. It's a course with only the trickiest words from travel English. And it also comes with an app for your phone where you have flashcards. Piszki, yeah? So you can revise the words, learn the words wherever you want. And these other words, but my students proved to need on their holidays with English. Yeah, I have selected them personally for you. So click the link in the description for my travel English course. Kasia Sielicka, doktor filologii angielskiej, angielski w pracy z humorem. www.angielski z humorem.pl